Hello friends, uh, I'm Parways and this is our 24th video in PyQtf5 GUI programming. Uh, in the last video we have covered uh, uh, image example in PyQtf5 slider. You can see that we have uh, a simple uh, PyQtf5 slider image. Uh, in this video we are going to cover tables in PyQtf5. For this, you can uh, simply create a new uh, Python file. Uh, I call it uh, tables, like this. And also, I want to copy my uh, window code from the uh, previous videos and paste it in my new Python file. And I want to change the uh, name to pyqta5 tables like this okay and also I changed the width to uh, 500 and the height to uh, 400 if I run this no, sorry if I run my table python file you can see that I have a simple window okay now for creating of uh, tables in pyqta5 I'm going to create a new uh, method Mm, creating uh, tables I call it okay uh, before this I need some imports uh, for my table uh, the first one I need a Q uh, widget uh, after that I need a Q, Q table widget and also a Q table widget item okay uh, now I change my main because we are using Q widget I write Q widget. Okay. Now also I forgot to import a vertical box layout, a QV box layout. Okay. Uh, now the first thing you need in here, uh, we should uh, create a table widget. Uh, the first thing you need for creating table in PyQt5 to create your uh, Table widget uh, self dot table widget q table widget like this. Uh, after that, you should uh, uh, set your uh, rows and columns for the table. Okay, uh, self dot table widget dot uh, set row count. I give the row to five and uh, self dot table widget dot set column uh, column count I'll set column count to 3 maybe it's good okay uh, now we are going to add our uh, functionality our items sorry our items to our table uh, self dot take your table widget uh, dot set item we are setting our item uh, in the first row and first column, I want to be Q table widget item. I want to be name like this. Mm, let me uh, show you uh, in here. Uh, you can uh, okay. Let me. make in at the top in this section first I am going to uh, call my method create uh, uh, creating tables after that I'm going to make a vbox layout I show you one by one uh, QV box layout now I'm going to self dot uh, uh, v box layout. I want to add my uh, table dot uh, v v sorry. Oh, I think I have forgotten here. Self dot uh, self dot uh, v box layout dot add widget. I want to add my table widget. Uh, so dot uh, table widget 
After that, I'm going to my set layout to my V box self dot V box layout. Okay. Uh, now, if I run this. You can see that now I have uh, five uh, columns. We have set our columns. Uh, you can see that in here, rook. Uh, our uh, we have uh, five rows. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, and we have three columns. One, two, three. We have set it. You can change this. So if I give this to eight, and uh, if I run my Uh, table you can see that now I have eight uh, rows in here but for simplicity I want to change this to five okay uh, now we have added name to our uh, first row and first column now we are going to add uh, self dot table widget dot set item uh, and the first row and in uh, the first row and uh, Second column, uh, I want to add uh, the email. Okay, uh, now if I run this, you can see that I have email in here and uh, self dot table widget dot set item uh, in the first row and the zero row and the Third column, uh, I want to add uh, queue table widget item mm, phone phone number. If I run this, uh, now you can see we have name, email, phone number. Okay, now I want to add uh, another uh, things in here. Uh, self dot table widget uh, dot set item and the first row and zero column I want to add my name like this add a name and uh, dot table widget uh, dot set item uh, and the first row and the first column the second column I want to add uh, Q table widget item uh, my email I give it an email like this uh, at self dot table widget set item sorry set item I give it in uh, in the mm, okay zero row and the uh, first row and uh, uh, second, uh, it, it's second index, but uh, third column. Uh, I want to add a random phone number uh, like this. Okay. Now, now if I run this, uh, you can see that we have uh, name, uh, email, and phone number. But uh, I should. Uh, uh, increase the width, uh, the column width in here. Uh, for this, you can uh, simply write uh, where I can in this section, okay? In here. Uh, self dot set. Uh, self dot table widget dot set column width and for this uh, I give it uh, 200 if I run this yeah now it's good 200 uh, now 200 is so good I have changed just uh, the first uh, the email but you can change phone number or you can change the name there is no problem uh, okay now I am going to copy this uh, like this. Okay, and uh, I change this to second and uh, change this should be zero. I, I add another number 
uh, two. I change this to like this, and uh, mm. okay. Now, if I run this, we have uh, another name. Uh, let me add another. You can do this by yourself. There's no problem. You can set your row count and you can set your column uh, indexing three. Mm, I give it another name. John uh, three. Mm, John and three. If I run this. Yeah, you can see that we have another. Let me add one more. It should be complete. Like this. Sorry. Expected. Let me copy this and uh, paste it. And the fourth row. Let me change this. Uh, John do do and I give a number like this yeah you can see that this is uh, mm, our basic table but you can add more functionality to this uh, table you can add more columns more rows uh, but uh, this was the some basic stuff that uh, we can do uh, with pike to five tables uh, if you have any question please uh, let me know and uh, if you like this video please subscribe the channel and for the further videos please like the videos